Thank you. Karibu sana. No, it's fine if it's somewhere flat. Niviema. Okay. I needed a pianist. I wanted to sing a little but Nataka mumcheza piano tafadhali. But it's fine. You can be seated. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Put those hands together like you mean. Ebu piga makofi kama wewe unamaanisha. Amen. Uh barakiwe. Barikiwe. Oh barikiwe. Yes. Barikiwe. <laughs> Good evening everybody. We want to um, pay my homage to the bishop. Ningependa kutoa heshima zangu kwake askofu. And he's uh <laughs> Na Yeah, there's a, there are a lot of berries, amen. Strolls, kuna kila aina ya berry. Blackberries. Kuna ile ya rose, kuna ya ya straw. Amen. Amen. God bless you. We, Mungu akubariki. It's a joy to be around them and uh, Ni furaha kuwa pamoja nao. Na pia uongozi wa kanisa. And all pastors present right here. Na wachungaji wote ambao waliko hapa. Amen. God bless you, Bishop. Thank you Mungu so much. Mungu akubariki sana askofu. Amen. The Amen. team from Tanzania. Kikundi kutoka pale Tanzania, Mungu awabariki. Hopefully we're going to get you to South Africa. Amen. And Amen. Come on. Mtakuja, ningependa mkuje South Africa, pale Afrika Kusini. I wanted to say draw me close to you. Never let me go. I'm laying all down again. Can you sing along? To hear you say that I'm your friend. You are my, you are my desire. Tell him tonight, no one else. No one else will do. God in your son take your place. You got to sing to him tonight. Come on. To feel the warmth of your embrace. Oh. Help me find the way. Bring me back to you. Tell him to not you are all. Oh, you're all I want. You're all I've ever needed. All I've ever needed. You're all I want. All I want. Help me know. Let's do it one more time. You're all I want. You're all I want. You're all I've ever needed. All I ever needed. Come on, you're all I want. Help me know, Lord. Help me know you are near. Between the book of Genesis and Revelations, katikati ya kitabu cha mwanzo na ufunuo. There's a book of John. Thank you so much. Kuna kitabu ya Yohana Asante. Um our case study um is going to be in the book of Genesis but 
John 10:10 10, 10. Fundisho letu litatoka pale Yohana 10:10 um, it, It's a place that we may have to pass through Ni mahali ambapo tuna tutapitia I'm going to use as a sub, as a subject tonight the uncommon harvest Nitakuwa nikitumia mada mavuno yasiyo ya kawaida I think we are having wrong audience tonight. Those who came all tonight are so quiet. Amen. I said we are going to talk about the uncommon harvest. That's what we are here for. So we got to rejoice. I have a question. Uh, I was just driving and I happened to I hear somebody on the radio asking this question. I didn't get the context. Nilikuwa naenda shagani na nikapata kusikia mtu akisikiliza ili swali, lakini si kupata alikuwa anaongea kutoka wapi? Of what they were talking about. Kila mbacho wa maongezi yao yalikuwa. But this I found this question fascinating. Lakini niliona hisi ili swali lilikuwa la kutatanisha. What would you do if you were not afraid? Utafanya nini kama wewe una uoga wowote? Please ask your neighbor and say what would you Uliza do? jirani yako. Utafanya nini kama kuna uoga wowote? Kama uogopi chochote. Next time I got to make sure I know Swahili because uh, when I say something short she said I want to make sure if whether she's saying everything I'm saying. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I find that she's preaching her own sermon. Amen. I'm just kidding. Amen. God bless you. What would you do if you were not afraid? Utafanya nini kama uogopi chochote? I came to realize Ilikuja kugundua hivi that the barrier between success and failure Kizuizi katikati ya kufaulu na kutofaulu It's faith ni or imani fear. ya uoga. Looking back in 2015. Kuangalia mwaka huu wa 2015. We have made resolutions Tumef- for this season. Tumefanya mambo mengi kwa sababu ya majira haya. But what is it that is defining you having achieved what you wanted to achieve? Lakini nini na kuinaonyesha kwamba umetimiza kila ambacho ulikuwa umepangilia? Possibilities are Kuna uwezo. Faith has been the factor. Yaani imani initibiti or fear has been the factor. Ama ama kuoga ndio umekuwa thabiti ndani yako. So if fear was not the factor, kama uoga ungekuwa jambo lolote. Where would you be by now? Ungekuwa wapi hivi sasa? Um if you're driving using a, a navigator or GPS. Kama unaendesha gari kupitia ile mashini ya kuonyesha mwelekeo. Each time you miss a turn. Kila mara ukienda njia mkato ambao sio sawa time gets added to your destiny wakati ama masai inaongezeka katika hatima yako i'm trying to encourage somebody here ni ngako hapa kutia mtu moyo that this is not just any event hii tu sio sherehe ama mkutano tu unakuja wa kawaida this was uh, organized so that your life would be changed ili lipangwa ili maisha yako yaweze kubadilishwa but your obedience to what god will be doing right here lakini kuti kwako yale mambo mungu anafanya hapa will detect in as to how soon will you arrive to your destiny itamua ni upesi upi wewe utafika katika hatima yako so people are afraid of so many things watu wameuoga kwa sababu ya vitu vingi Number 1 we have what we call the fear of unknown. Mara ya kwanza kabisa ya kwanza uoga wa kitu ambacho hujui. Most people you ask them why are you not doing what you supposed to do? Ukiuliza watu wengi kwa nini ufanyi vile unavyostahili kufanya? Wana wao wanasema wanaogopa. Afraid of what? Wako naogopa nini? They can't explain. Hawezi elezea. People have a fear of death. Watu wana uoga uoga wa kifo. I think I wonder if it's Bob or Peter Tosh who said everybody wants to go to heaven. Yaani juu kama nimetora alisema kila mtu angependa kufika mbinguni. But nobody wants to die. Lakini hakuna mtu anataka kukufa. People have fear of failure. Watu wana uoga ya kushindwa. You haven't tried. Wewe hujajaribu. But you're afraid. Lakini wewe una uoga tu. 
that you will fail. Kwamba wewe utafaulu. Uta, uta Many people that have achieved. Walutu wengi ambao wametimiza kitu ama faulu kwa jambo fulani. They have failed before. Wameanguka ama wamekosa kufaulu hapo awali. Muhammad Ali says. Wile Muhammad Ali alisema hivi. He says this is his own definition of a champion. Yeye alisema hivi kuelezea championi. He says a champion is not somebody that has never lost a battle. Yati yule ambao mshindi si yule ambaye hajawahi poteza vita. But a champion is somebody who has lost his championships and know how to get it back. Ni yule ambaye amepoteza shada zake na anajua atazipata li atazipata vipi. Look at your neighbor say you are a champion. Mwangalie jirani yako wewe mwambie wewe ni championi. Now listen to me ladies and gentlemen. Hebu nisikize mabibi na mabwana. When I hear that question. Wakati nilisikia hilo swali. It made me to study the word. Ilinifanya mimi nianze kulisoma neno. As a matter of fact, I wanted to find out when was the first time the word fear was mentioned in the bible kwa hakika kabisa ningependa nilipataka kujua mara ya kwanza kanza kabisa ilinena uoga ilikuwa wapi yani mwanzo 3:10 adam says adam alisema hivi i heard your voice nilisikia sauti yako in the garden pale katika mnara um, and i was afraid na mimi nikaogopa because i was naked kwa sababu nilikuwa tupu what did he do ulifanya nini nilijificha what did he do akajificha he hid himself yeye akajificha all right matthew 25 25 madhayo 25 25 Matthew 25:25. Matthew 25:25. You remember three gentlemen were given gifts, Unakumba talents. Unakumbwa wale watatu walipewa vipawa. One was given one, the other one was given two. Mmoja alipewa moja, mwingine akapewa tatu. The other one was given five. Mwingine akapewa tano. The one was given five and two. Yule mbaya waliopewa mbili na tano. They invested. Wao waliweka rasilimali yao mali ambayo inazaa. But the one who was given one. Wakitkini yule mbaya alipewa moja pekee. Look at what he says. Alisikiza alisema I mimi. was Mimi niliogopa. And went and Na nikaenda. Nikaficha talanta yangu. There are common things here that I'm identifying. Kuna vitu ambavyo zinakaa sawa sawa ninagundua hapa. Do. Ambacho imani imani inafanya. Faith, I mean fear will always associate itself with hiding something. Yaani uoga kila mara inalingana na kuficha kitu. When Adam was afraid, wakati Adamu alikuwa ameogopa, he hid himself. Yeye akajificha. When this steward was afraid, wakati huyu pia huyu bwana aliogopa, he hid his gift. Akaficha pia talanta zake. When fear it's affected. Wakati uoga ndio kitu kinakuongoza. You hide yourself where you were supposed to have showed up. Wewe unajificha badala ya kutokezea ambapo wewe ulistahili kutokezea. When you are afraid. Wakati wewe unaogopa. You will hide the gifts which you were supposed to have invested. Utaficha zile talanta ambazo unastahili umeziweka mahali ziweze kuzaa kama rasilimali. Look at Mark 535. Hebu angalia Mariko um Jairus. Yu Jairus. Comes to Jesus. Akaja kwake Yesu. And uh, his daughter was sick. Na binti wake alikuwa ni mgonjwa. While he was still speaking to Sam. Wakati bado alikuwa anaongelesha wengine. From the ruler of the synagogue's house. Kutoka yule kiongozi wa ile sinagogi. Your daughter is dead. Akamwambia binti wako amefariki. This man was still telling Jesus that my daughter is sick. Huyu mtu alikuwa anamwambia Yesu mno binti wangu ni mgonjwa. He gets a message. Yeye akapata ujumbe that she is dead. Kwamba binti wake amefariki. Why trouble the teacher any further? Verse 26. Kwa nini usumbue uh, mwalimu tena? As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken. Punde tu Yesu Kristo aliposikia lile neno ambalo lilinenwa. He said akasema hivi. To the ruler. Ayule akamwambia yule kiongozi. Do not be afraid. Usiogope. Why was Jesus say don't be afraid? Ni kwa nini Yesu Kristo alikuwa anamwambia usiogope? Because fear. Kwa sababu uoga. Was going to cause him bury his daughter. Ungemsababisha yeye azike binti wake. 
What would you do if you were not afraid? Wewe utafanya nini kama hakuna uogo wowote ama uogopi chochote? Tonight we are coming out. Usiku huu tu sisi tunatokezelea. We're going to tell the devil. Tutaambia shetani. I am not afraid. Mimi siogopi. I am not fearful. Mimi si muoga. I'm not going to hide myself. Mimi sitajificha tena. I'm not going to hide my gift. Mimi sitaficha talanta zangu. Here is the option that you have. Hii ndio nafasi unayo. It's either you expose your fear. Ila wewe uonyeshe uoga wako. Bury your gifts. Uzike zile talanta zako. Or you bury your fear. Ama wewe uzike ile uoga. And ex Pose your gift. Uache vipa zako zitokezele juu. But I want people that will join me tonight. Lakini nikependa watu waungane pamoja nami jioni ya leo. And say we are crossing over the enemy's camp. Wanasema kwamba sisi tunavuka ile mpaka wa adui. For the common favor. Kwa sababu ya kibari sisi cha kawaida. Mavuno ya sio ya kawaida. This is not just a harvest. Hii sio mavuno tu. But it's uncommon. Lakini ni sio ya kawaida. If you have a right neighbor give them a high Kama wewe una jirani mwema msalimie kwa mkono wa juu. Tell them that sounds like me. Kwambie hiyo inasikika kama ni mimi. I think I've said it before here. Nafikiria nimeisema hapa awali that uh, there are two things that reveals the true character of a person. Kuna mambo mawili ambayo yanyonyesha tabia ya ukweli kabisa ya mtu. Number 1. Kidokezo cha kwanza. It's darkness. Ugiza What you do alone in the dark? Kila ambacho unafanya ukiwa peke yako kagizani. You need no interpretation that's who Awitaji you are. Hauhitaji kuelezea hiyo ni nini wewe ndivyo. Am I talking to the right people? Mimi ninaongea kwa watu ambao wanafaa. Or are you thinking of what you do in the dark? Kama unafikiria nini unafanya wakati uko peke yako ama gizani? Number 2. Cha pili. Mani pesa reveals the true character of a person. Inaonyesha tabia ya mtu kabisa ya ukweli. We often say Kwa mara nyingi watu tunasema hivi Since so and so have, have got a little money they have changed have you ever heard that Wakati same? mtu alipata pesa fulani akabadilika Hebu niongeleshe niongeleshe tafadhali It's not that they have changed Si ati wamebadilika Money it's revealing the character which was hidden Yaani pesa inaonyesha ile tabia ile imejificha ndani ya yule mtu That's why I don't trust a broke man Ndio maana mimi wasimiamini mtu mwaya ana pesa No you can trust if you want but I don't trust a broke man Mtu ambaye hana pesa I don't know about here but Bishop Beckham Mimi sijui kama hapa lakini pale nyumbani ya skofu There are people that will pray for kuna watu ambao tunawaombea. They were so faithful. Walikuwa waaminifu mno. Wanakuja kanisani kila mara. Wanatoka kama wamechelewa. Wanatufanya kazi ya Mungu. Until we pray for them. Mpaka tunawaombea. That God bless this one with a job. Kwamba Mungu bariki yule na kazi. Bless that one with a contract. Bariki yule na contract fulani. And once they get that. Punde tu wanaipata hivi. It's the last time you have seen them. Ndio mwisho naona pale kanisani. But when they didn't have Lakini wakati hawakuwa nayo they were humble Walikuwa ni wanyenyekevu So I'm not so sure if whether you are humble until Mimi you are Mimi sina kabisa Pengine wewe ni mnyenyekevu tu mpaka ukwe tajiri Talk to neighbor say I'm not so sure amen Kambia jirani yako mimi sina uhakika if whether you will still sit next to me utakati karibu na mimi if you are a multi millionaire Kama wewe ni milionea I'm not so sure Mimi sina uhakika kabisa But money can reveal that. Kwa sababu lakini okay. pesa inaonyesha hiyo. No no no. Here's a simple example. Here's Wacha a simple example. mfano tu wa raisi. Do you guys when money comes into your bank account and you get the notification on your um, Wakati pesa inaingia katika akaunti yako tunapata ujumbe ume, pesa imeingia. I suggest most of our phones are on even though they're on silent. Mimi na, nataka simu zetu zikuwe zimewasha hata kama ziko. If a message could come in now kama ujumbe utakuja tu hivi on your phone katika simu, simu yako and says 10 million shillings iseme kwamba milioni 10 have been deposited to your account imewekwa katika ile account yako how many will stay until i finish preaching ni wangapi watabaki hapa mpaka mimi nimalize kuhubiri you see unaona That is why you don't have it because Yomana god una. does not trust you mungu akuamini And that's why I don't trust a broke man. Yo, mimi wasiamini mtu ana pesa. Because if if you are broke and the money Kama comes in, you're gonna leave. Utaondoka. 
So I'm not so sure if whether you're here for God. Mimi sina uhakika kabisa kama uko hapa kwa sababu ya Mungu. Oh you are here because you are born. Au uko hapa kwa sababu wewe umeboeka tu. I think that's the right place to say Shandai. Kwa hivyo hapo ni wakati mwema wa kusema Shandai. John 10:10. Yohana 10:10. It says for a thief comes not but to Mwizi huja ila kuiba. Kill and anakuja kuua. What is our Bible? For the, the thief does not come except number Mwizi, one to do what? Akuji ila kuiba. And kuua and kuaribu. But listen to Jesus. He Lakini says, "I have hizi. come Nimekuja. that thy I mean that they my they that they may have life ili waweze kuwa na maisha ama uhai that they may have life have it more wakwe nayo tele tele the enemy's threefold agenda ama, ma, kazi ya shetani tatu number one is to steal ya mara ya kwanza kabisa ni kuiba that is to dispossess you of what is rightfully yours. Yaani anataka kukunyang'anya kile ambacho ni haki kwako ni chako. The devil can't stand you see he can't stand to see you blessed. Yeye haizi simama angalia ati umebarikiwa. As Job kama ya Ayubu. He saw Job so blessed. Aliona Ayubu amebarikiwa sana. And he even asked God for permission. Alafu akauliza Mungu aweze kuelezeni, akauliza Mungu ruhusa. In the garden of Eden. Pale katika shamba la Edeni. He stole dominion. Yeye akaiba mamlaka. And after that, na baada ya hiyo, he sows the seeds of condemnation. Yeye akapanda mbegu ya hukumu. After you have been healed. Baada wewe umeponywa. The devil will still show you the symptoms of your disease Shetani and sickness. Ile ishara ile but tonight, in the uncommon harvest, we're going to take everything kila kitu that the devil has stolen from you. Wewe. I wish I can talk to somebody up here. Some of you got to put a smile on your Una face. Tell your neighbor, say, it's going to be well. Amen. Put a smile on your face. You can look that serious in the house of yani God. What's the matter mrefu katika nyumba ya Mungu? Number 2. Cha pili. He came to kill. Yeye alikuja kuua. That is to dispossess your hopes and dreams. Yaani kukupora tumaini yako na ndoto zako. The devil he is a dream breaker. Yaani shetani anaharibu ndoto. He doesn't want you to dream. Ataki wewe wote. I mean, let us be fair and German. Waja tuseme ukweli. Joseph had magwana. nothing. Yaani Yusufu hakuwa na chochote. Except the dream. Ila tu zile ndoto. And the same dreams. Na zile zozo ndoto pekee. Caused his brothers to hate him. Zilisababisha ndugu zake wamchukie bure. Aren't you surprised people hate you? Wewe ushangai watu kwa nini wanakuchukia tu? And you have nothing you like. Na una chochote. What are they hating me for? Kwa nini nini basi? It's because they can see. Ni kwa sababu wanaweza ona. Within you. Kwa ndani yako. There's a potential. Kuna uwezo of coming to the world of that which you desire. Kuja katika ulimwengu wa kile ambacho natamani ambacho unatumainia. But I'm not going to allow anybody. Lakini mimi sitakubalia mtu yoyote. Aweze kuua ndoto yangu. Tell your neighbor say dream Ambia on. Ambia yako. Wewe endelea kuota. Number 3. Chatatu. He comes to destroy. Anakuja kuangamiza. That is to disrupt what took you time to build. Yaani kuharibu kile ambacho kilichukua wakati wako kujenga. The devil wants to break your spirit. Yaani shetani anataka kuvunja roho yako. Jacob was told your son is dead. Yakobo aliambiwa mwana wako amefariki. My Bible tells me. Biblia yangu inaniambia hivi. Jacob refused to be comforted. Yaani Yakobo alikataa kabisa kukufarijiwa. You see there are people that will come and comfort you. Unajua kuna watu ambao wanakuja na kufariji. They say ah uh, it's it's I call it the demonic comfort. Ninaita hiyo hilo kufariji kwa kipepo. When you lose stuff they say it's fine. Wakati wanakuambia hiyo ni njema hiyo ni sawa. Thank God you're still alive. Nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu wewe uko hai. When, when you lose a marriage they say it's fine. Wakati unapoteza ndoa wanakuambia uko sawa wewe sio wa kwanza. I don't want that demonic comfort. Mimi 
ndio faraja kabisa If the devil dare steals anything from you Kama shetani anaiba chochote kutoka kwako You got to show him that you're a village girl Wewe wewe ni mtu ambao unangalia When you see a snake you don't call SPCA but you kill it Wewe ukiona nyoka wewe uitani unaiua You know, you know some people because they are Christians that they, they are so sweet. Unajua kwa watu wengine kwa sababu ni wa Kristo, yaani ni watamu muundo. They, they even are sweeter to the devil. Yaani wanakuwa mtamu watamu sana hata kwa shetani. They don't want to hurt him. They Yaani hawataki kumuumiza. Instead of calling him devil. Wana badala yake muite shetani. Ah, Davy, Davy. Wana muita eh shetani, shetani. Yeah, you know instead of calling him satan like a sati sati but they can meet a shetan you know meet a sati sati they can call him lucifer like a lucy but they can meet a lucifer wana meet a lucifer na na sauti nyororo amen i feel that there's church that is rising up here that was saying that we are tired amen hallelujah enough is enough you have gone too far kambarili sana oh jesus he's going to pay hallelujah atalipa tell your neighbor say he's Ambia paying jirani tonight ya yeah, analipa jioni ya leo boring neighbor get a better neighbor someone say jirani yako simu yama tafuta jirani nyingine this devil nyingine. will pay tonight you shetani lazima atalipa jioni ya leo i'm not only here for the harvest i'm here for the uncommon si harvest siko hapa kupata mavuno niko hapa kupata mavuno ya sio ya kawaida bring it on let me take a, a decent photo amen that one i had my mouth open Yeah, hallelujah. <laughs> Shanda. Oh Lord have mercy. I make a declaration tonight. Nilitangaza jioni ya leo. That whatever that the enemy has taken from you. Chochote ambacho shetani amechukua chako. Tonight before you exit this building. Leo jioni kabla hujatoka katika ukumbi huu. The message I was talking about it's about to come into your cell phone now. Ujumbe ambao nilikuwa na nena wacha uje katika simu yako hivi sasa. I want my money. Shetani nataka pesa zangu sasa. And I want it now. Na nataka hivi sasa. Devil I want my inheritance. Urithi wangu. And I want it now. Nataka hivi sasa. Devil, I want my car. Shetani nataka gari langu. And I want it now. Nataka ilo gari langu hivi sasa. I want my house. Shetani nataka nyumba yangu. And I want it now. Nataka hivi sasa. Devil, I want my job. Shetani nataka kazi yangu. And I want it now. Nataka hivi sasa. Devil, I want my promotion. Shetani nataka ucheo changu. And I want it now. Nataka hivi sasa. Devil, I want my wife. Shetani nataka mke wangu. I want my husband. Nataka mume wangu. I want him now. Somebody shout Sasa hivi. Ribo shaka talaba. Now Genesis katika mwanzo 26 sura 26 from verse 12 kutoka mstari wa 12 Then Isaac alafu Isaac sold in that land. Akapanda katika ile nchi. Where did he sow? Alipanda nini? Ah uh, come on which land inchi gani in that land ile ile inchi and received na yakapokea in the same year huo mwaka huo huo a hundredfold mavuno ya asilimia 100 and the lord na ye bwana blessed him akambariki samba say in the same year mwaka ule huo huo We, we we're going to engage highly in the prophetic as the minister has said last night that we must engage in the prophetic action tutaingia kindani sana katika upeo wa kinabii kama vile mtumishi jana jioni alisema making a declaration of mimi ninatangaza hivi sasa some of you who have sown your seeds who are going to sow your seeds wale wengine ambao mtapanda mbegu zenu offering na sadaka zenu you will reap mutavuna a hundred fold asilimia 100 in the same service katika ibada hiyo hiyo i wish i can talk to somebody up and here now let me build my case now let me build my case wacha nilete hii kwenu i'm coming ninakuja most of us we haven't really as i used to haven't gone to the details of the verse which i have read wengi wetu hatujaenda kindani ya kile andiko ile andiko ambalo tumelisoma by this time 
lakini wakati huu it was a time where they were experiencing famine. Ni wakati ilikuwa kulikuwa na ukame, hakukua na mvua kabisa. And everybody was opting to go to Egypt. Na kila mtu alikuwa anaenda Misri. And God said to Isaac. Na ye Mungu akamwambia Isaka, stay right here. Ebuka hapa hapa. If God gives you an instruction, Kama Mungu anakupa sharti, there's a blessing attached to your obedience. Una baraka maunganisho na kutii kwako. I know some of the people might be living Kenya. Najua kuna jua watu wengine wanaondoka hapa Kenya. Going to some places which they according to them are wanaenda greener pastures. Maana pengine wanasema hapo ni pema kuliko Kenya. But to anybody who is in the sound of my voice Lakini tonight. Lakini yote ambaye iko katika chini ya uh, sauti yangu. I hear the Lord is saying. Ninasikia Bwana anasema hivi. Stay right here. Kaa hapa hapa. Stay right there. Kaa pale pale. You can have a conference call it and come on home. Hatuwezi kuwa na kongamana tuite mavuno ya sio ya kawaida and be planning to live out of Kenya. Na wewe unapanga kuondoka Kenya. That will be ironic. Hiyo itakuwa ni ya kushangaza. If you believe God's going to give you uncommon harvest. Kama wewe unaamini kwamba Mungu atakupa mavuno ya sio ya kawaida, utakaa hapo hapo. Can I encourage somebody Wacha right here? Mtu hapa hivi sasa. Don't move out of that marriage. Usiondoke katika hiyo ndoa yako. There's an uncommon harvest Kuna coming. Kuna baraka ya sio kawaida inakuja. Stay inapuja. right there. Na pale pale. Don't shift from where you are. Usiondoke pale unafanya kazi. God is about to show you Mungu favor. Mungu karibu kukuonyesha kibali. Right. Sawa. Genesis 26 Mwanzo 26 verse 18 Mustari wa 18 Let's read that. Wacha tuisome. How am I doing so far? All right. I hope I am. And Isaac dug again the wells of water which they had dug in the days of Abraham his Isaka akaruda kazi vichimbua visima vile vya maji vilivyochimbwa siku za Abraham. No, no, no. let me make something clear right here when Wacha we're, nionyesh, while we're still in the neighborhood wakati tuko hapa the, what isaac was doing here kila ambacho isaka alikuwa anafanya it was not something new si iko ni kitu jipya he was actually if i may use that word renovating the A walls which his father had alikuwa anaamsha ile kazi alikuwa anachimbua vile visima baba yake alikuwa amevichimba just just study genesis 26 when you get home you will learn that abraham mwanzo 26 unapofika nyumbani utajifundisha kwamba abraham during his time wakati wake he had invented alikuwa an irrigation system alikuwa ameanza kazi ya kufanya uh, ukulima through the world kupitia visima that when there was drought lakini wakati kulikuwa na ukame when the heavens were shut and there was no rain wakati zilikuwa zimefungika kuzikuwa na mvua he will water his crop yeye angemwagilia mimea yake ile maji through his world kupitia visima vyake and the bible says na yeye biblia inasema hivi the philistine wa filisti were jealous of him wakana wivu kawa na wivu mwingi they come and dump stuff walikuwa nakuja wanaviziba wanaweka vitu pale ndani on his wells zile katika zile visima They will put stones wangeweka mawe soil wanaweka mchanga water carcasses wanaweka maiti ama ya wanyama walikuwa wamefariki ndani ndani now sasa when god said to isaac stay here mungu alimwambia isaka kaa hapa hapa and there was famine na kulikuwa na ukame he realized aligundua kwamba the only way njia pekee i can survive mimi naweza ishi mahala hapa is to do what my father did kufanya kila ambacho baba yangu alifanya so now what is he doing let's go back let's go back turudi pale tuone turudi pale tuone he dug again the wells of uh, of wells i mean of water which they had dug in the days of Abraham his father akavichimbua tena vile visima ambavyo Abraham baba yake alikuwa amezivichimba for the philistine have stopped them up after the death of Abraham kwa sababu wa filisti walikuwa wameziziba baada Abraham alifariki by the names which his father called them alizita majina yale baba yake alikuwa ameziita let's go let's go Also Isaac seven dug in the valley and they found a well of running water there. Na Isaac akajimba 
akachimba katika bonde na akapata maji ambayo inatiririka pale But the headsman of Gerar quarreled with Isaac's headman saying the water is ours Wachungaji wa Gerali wakagombana na wachungaji wa Isaka wakisema so called, maji haya ni yetu. So he called the name of the well Isaac. Ndipo akaliita jina kile kisima Iseki. Because they quarreled. Kwa sababu waligombana naye. With him. Waligombana naye. Okay. And they digged another well. Wakachimba kisima kingine. And strove for that also. Wakagombana na hicho tena. And he called the name of it Sitna. Akakita jina lake Sitna. And he removed from there. Akaondoka huko. And digged another well. Akachimba kisima kingine. And for that they strove not. Wala hicho hawakugombania kabisa. And he called the name of it Rehoboth. Akakita jina lake Leobothi. And he said, Akasema hivi. For now the Lord had made room for us. Kwa kuwa sasa Bwana amefanya nafasi. Zima man. Zimaman. Deliverance. Ukalanza la ukombozi. The devil has been fighting you for too long. Shetan amekuwa akipigana nawe kwa muda mrefu. But the world you are digging right now. Lakini kizima ambacho unachimba hivi sasa. The devil will fight. Hakuna shetani atakipigana nacho. You are coming to your Rehoboth. Wewe unakuja katika Rehoboth yako. And you shall say for the Lord has made kwa sababu Mungu amefanya nafasi kwetu. And we shall be fruitful in the land. And he went up from thence to Bathsheba. And the Lord appeared unto him in the same night. And said, I'm the God of Abraham thy father. Fear. I told you that each time God says fear not. It's because he does not want you to bury yourself. Bury your gifts. Bury your talents. Fear not. I am with thee. I will bless thee. I will multiply thee. Amen. Amen. Amina. And he built an altar there. And called upon the name of the Lord. And pitched his tent there. What did he do first after? He has found his room. The first thing was to build an altar. Ni kujenga madhabahu. Afterwards he built his stand. Baada yake akajenga hema. Vice versa in most of the people. Na mara kinyume kulingana na watu wengi. When certain people give them rest. Wakati watu fulani wao wanawapa pumziko. They build themselves tents first. Wanajijengea hema kwanza. When God gives you breakthrough. Wakati Mungu anakupa upenyu. The first thing you must do. Kitu cha kwanza kabisa lazima ufanye. Is to build God. Ni kujenga Mungu madhabahu. Now. When we dealing with the fact that Isaac sowed in that land and reaped the hundredfold. Kila ambacho Isaka alipopanda katika ile inchi akavuna 100%. Had got nothing to do with the supernatural. Hiyo haina kitu chochote cha kiungu. It was all to do with the assignment that he has done in working on the wells that his father has done. I wonder if you are getting my point right here. Uncommon harvest is not going to come for people that are folding their arms with nothing. You earn uncommon harvest. You earn uncommon harvest. See, you're looking at me so serious like now. We thought Unani, uncommon harvest is going to, somebody's going to lay hand on me and say yani uncommon harvest. Yekele, no, it does not come that way. You have to do your assignments. Somebody say claim it. Now, what is it that Isaac performed before he could dig the walls which we have to do point number one 
which might go with the prophetic action we learned last night. If you want to go and dig a well, which should claim it's your father's well, you can't just go there and dig it. You have to claim the piece of land first. You have to claim the ownership of the land. And how do you do that? You stake a claim. Then how does it, I mean, what does, what does this mean? Most of the land in that time was unoccupied. In the ancient days. So you have to take sticks. Put them Unaziweka. around the corner and mark your territory. That is called staking a claim. Right now, you know how far your piece of land goes, isn't it? you have a territory. So the first thing that you must do, you must stake a claim. You might not do it the modern way we are doing it or an ancient way but this means that as a Christian you have to go to the Bible look for the scriptures which have promises for your life where the Bible says you can do all things where there is you put your name there when God says by your stripes by his stripes you are healed where there is you personalize it claim the promises of God you're making me working hard here. Are, are we going to work together tonight? So before we dig the walls, stake a claim. Take your rights. Take your position. Kick out the strong man. Tell him that this is my father's land. Some of you, when you get home tonight, you gotta tell the devil this house that we are living in is too small small for us to be sharing it. One of us gotta move out tonight. And devil, the good news is I'm not the one moving. So you gotta pack your stuff. Move out of my house. Get out of my children. Get out of my bank accounts. Leave my business. I wish I can talk to somebody up here. Give your neighbor half of us and take your claim. Get the blessed, get the promise in the Bible. Put your name. Tell the devil that even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. His rod and his staff shall comfort me. Tell that devil and his mother-in-law that when the devil comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall raise up the standard. Tell that devil nothing shall separate me from the love of of God, tell the devil, I have a promise that all things are possible with God. Tell the devil, I have a promise by his stripes, I am healed. Establish your right of ownership. Say I'm the son of Abraham. We also establish the right of ownership. Isaac was the son of Abraham. We are the sons of God. Jesus shed his blood in seven different ways. 
on the cross and each way God wanted us to claim a promise the first way Jesus shed his blood it was his sweat changed into the drops of blood and they fell into the ground you know what Jesus was doing in the garden of Eden man was cursed that you will eat out of your sweat but when Jesus died he said this generation will not eat out of the sweat Sweat. they will eat out of the anointing you will do all things through Christ who gives you strength the second way he shed his blood it's when they put the crown of thorns in his head Thorns speaks of a curse. He was redeeming us from the curse. The Bible says when they pushed him, they pulled him to the weeping post. In the book of Isaiah, they pulled off his beard. Beard are a sign of leadership when they pulled out his beard it symbolized Peter being pulled out Judas being pulled out and they took him to the weeping post by his stripes we have been healed they pierced his hands blessed are the works of your hands they pierced his feet wherever the soul of your foot shall trap upon God shall give the land they pierced his side a symbol of giving birth when water and blood came out Adam Adam. out of his sight a wife came Jesus Yesu. out of his sight the church was birthed and he's gonna come as a groom to marry his bride somebody says take your claim state your claim come on say it like say take your claim in the name of Jesus now, don't just redig walls. Identify proven patterns of performance. Isaac Isaka. dug wells which produced the water before. Uh, you're not helping me out tonight. I said you're not helping me out tonight. Okay, let's stand. I'm to see mommy. Amen. You're not helping me. I see you want to go home. Let's stand. To see mommy. Amen. Sit down. Amen. Sasa to I just wanted you to get out of your sleep. Amen. Hey, some were excited. We're going home. Amen. No, I'm still preaching. What did I say? Identify proven patterns of performance. Gundua ama gundua ile mitindo ya ya kutenda zikazi. Don't dig stuff that is not going to work. Wewe usianze kuchimba vitu ambavyo havizifanya kazi. Dig stuffs which you are guaranteed. Chimba vitu ambavyo una uhakikisho. Oh my god, I wish I can talk to somebody up in here. Hey, Amen. Get to a verse which somebody has a testimony about. Sing a song that you know is going to move the heavens. Sing some prayers which you know they will terrify the enemy in the neighborhood. For some prayers that you know they will break the spine of the enemy. Give an offering that you know is going to give you the harvest before you move out of this place. Make sure you are claiming that which has a record of performance. After having identified those wells, the other thing we should do, remove the obstacles. 
between you and your claim. What is the meaning of this? You have to take out those stones. Take out those dead carcasses. Take out that soil. Am I talking to somebody? Unharvest, I mean, uncommon harvest is going to come to people who will remove the obstacles. Ladies and gentlemen, certain things don't need prayer. They need you to go to school. So sometimes you can find that God wants you to harvest but your obstacle is you are not schooled. So while there's still time go back to school. President Obama is not going to come here and you speak with him in tongues. Amen. Sometimes God will afford you certain uh, uh, platforms. But make sure that when that platform comes, you are prepared. I started preaching at the age of 17. I was born and raised in the village. We we're speaking Venda. Which relates to Swahili. Because we said in Gazina La Yeso and I hear that it's, it relates. And uh, so I would be preaching in my Venda village. When I was given a chance to preach, I will rehearse my sermon. And my friend will be an interpreter. And uh, I will come to church. Then the speaking. No English person speaking there. And I will preach and I will have an interpreter. And I was called for a meeting by the council of the church. And they were asking me, by the way, what is your name? I told them, where are you from? I told them, what is your mother tongue? I told them. And they said, then why are you preaching in English? As a matter of fact, the pastor said, today I don't have a problem with you that you preach in English. That day, that day when I was preaching, my, the title of my message was The Consequences of Sins. So my interpreter didn't know the meaning of consequences. And uh, when he was stuck and I repeated So that my pastor said, I hear you say, what? What? <laughs> So I told him, I said, I said, what is the meaning of that? I said, it means results. And he said to me, why didn't you then say results? But ladies and gentlemen, the point I'm trying to make here God knew that there's an uncommon harvest for this boy and the limitation to the harvest that God has for me the obstacle could be communication but if I did not learn to preach in English your bishop wouldn't have invited me tonight because I would be speaking in Venda. Somebody say, remove the obstacle. Remove the obstacle. Remove the obstacle. Some things don't need prayer. They need you to remove an obstacle. Prayer has done its work. Some of the young ladies here, you want to get married. Prayer has done its job. But you can find that there's an obstacle why brothers are not proposing. So 
So go to learn for some modeling lesson. Amen. Walk like a lady. Come on. Amen. Go for some head do. Amen. Put some pedicure and manicure. Don't walk in the place and we get confused if whether you're coming or going. Say to your neighbor, removes the obstacles. Remove, remove the obstacles. Remove the obstacles. Amen. Learn how to cook. Learn how to pray. Come on. Talk to me somebody. Learn to be a woman of integrity. Same applies to the gentleman. You don't want to marry. You don't have a job. You don't have some money. Well, Amen. Make some money before you get married. There's no lady who wants to get married to a broke man. Get rid of the obstacle. Are you married? All right. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah, the obstacles are removed. Amen. <laughs> And I watch this. I'm coming to a close. When you stake your claim, the devil is not gonna leave you alone. How many of you have ever got a piece of property? And you have signed papers, you have made your sections. By the time you start to bring bricks, you start to have somebody coming from nowhere and say, Hey, what are you doing? And say, I'm about to build. Say, this is my grandfather's land. But when you were not building, nobody came to claim it. But now that you're about to do something, you have people from everywhere claiming that that is the piece of their land. You have to learn to fight of the fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, when you possess new grounds, the devil will come off Shetani, uh, and, uh, and uh, claim your blessing. Oh my God, I wish I can talk to somebody up in here. I'm not going down without a fight. I will protect that which is mine. I told you, don't be too sweet that you become sweet to the devil. Rebuke that devil. Tell him, not my kids. Tell him, not my wife. Tell the devil, not in my husband. Rebuke him in the morning. Rebuke him in the midnight. Rebuke him at evening. Rebuke him in the midday. When you get home today, you're going to open every door. And tell the devil, in case you are here hiding somewhere, amen, you are getting out, out, out. Tell your neighbor, say, get ready to fight. Get ready to fight. Anybody who takes away from you, they are bully. And you also have to fight back. The devil will feel sorry for himself. Don't surrender. Don't just leave things hanging. Address him. What it makes you happy. It, it makes him sad. What makes him sad. Makes you laugh. It makes him cry. Ladies and gentlemen, don't you ever think that the devil will give you a high five when you say this is the last time we're having a conference in this place. You are making the devil angry and he will be trying to fight back. But we're not going to give him a room. Say to your neighbor, don't give him a room. 
Usimambia jirani yako usimpe nafasi. Don't allow your defeats to defeat you. Usikubali ukushindwe ikushinde. Keep on digging the walls. Ebuendelea kuchimba visima. Even if they take away this well. Hata kama wanachukua hicho kisima. You're going to dig another one. Ebuendelea uchimbe kisima kingine. Oh Jesus, I wish I can talk to somebody up here. Na Yesu Kristo ningeongea na mtu hapa. Ladies and gentlemen. Bibi na mabwana. We only have one life to live. Tuna maisha tu moja kuishi. And you got to make the best out of it. Na ni lazima Some of you have never been to the restaurant. Tomorrow, go to a restaurant. Whether you have money or not. This is what you are going to do. Just go there. They are going to ask you table for one or two. Smoking, smoking. And when you get sit there, ask the waiter. A glass of water. Tell her put some ice cubes. Deliberately. Allow her to move a few steps from your table. And say, excuse me. Put on some lemon slices. And after you have had your glass of water, when you're going through the menu, just say to your waiter, you know, I've, been, I've, been, I've been going through your menu. Uh, the, kind of, the kind of diet I'm on, I don't think you have anything on your menu. And, 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 and you walk out. So, People who saw you seated in that restaurant, they will not know if whether you were eating or not. Oh my God, I'm claiming my blessing. Go to a place where they sell cars. Go ask to test drive that Range Rover. Amen. Hoot for everybody that you know. <laughs> they will not know you are test driving it. Will, my God, I wish I can talk to somebody <laughs> up and here. Don't give up when the devil. Don't be weary. Don't be weary. Take it by force. Say to your neighbor, take it by force. The Bible says, he dug another well last night. And this time, they were tired of him. Said, let's leave this man. Let's leave this man. You're going to be so blessed. That the devil will even give up. Uh, you didn't hear me. I said you are going to be so blessed. When uncommon favor hits you. The devil will be. Ah, let's leave this man. Let's leave this man alone. But that does not come cheap. It comes. When you have proven. That you can fight. Isaac. Isaka. Didn't just have uncommon hearts. They were fighting. He will dig the wolf. He will dig the wolf. He will dig the Zimmerman. God has brought you. To the place of rest. Mahali papumziko. Oh, you're not hearing me. When you get there, even your walk changes. Some people walk like they're fighting. You can tell they're in the battle. But the problem is some people are so used to the fight that they even fight where it's no longer necessary. Have you ever greeted somebody they, they, they respond somehow as if they are yani fighting? Ask your neighbor and say, we have come to the yako. place of rest. Come mahali pa Don't talk to me like you are fighting. Eh? Mimi kama una you know, even when we pray, there's a tongue that you can tell. This una tongue, this, this tongue, tongue is fighting like rubakashaba. 
tonight baby when you get home put a juice on a wine glass come on just put your legs like this and get a new tongue after having that sip you go like zebra you know a nice sweet tongue that shows that you have arrived I declare tonight that devil we have fought so many battles but tonight we have arrived let's stand give the Lord a praise let's give the Lord a praise give somebody a high five and come on harvest and come on harvest and come on harvest and come on harvest Isaac is doing two things the first thing he builds God an altar when the uncommon harvest comes build God an altar when the uncommon harvest comes don't rush to build your tent kujenga hema lako build God ebu mjenge mungu shabra hasekitele where is the keyboardist ule father Nena. I thank you for this church baba na kushukuru kwa hili kanisa thank you for fathers and mothers asante baba thank you for brothers and asante sisters asante kwa ndugu na wadada Thank you that of all and throughout the battles which they have fought, which the devil will take from them. Some the devil has taken so many things. Some the devil has taken their marriages. Some the devil took their kids. Some the devil took their virginity. Their integrity. He, took, he stole their joy Wali, and peace. But Father God, we thank Lakini you for restoration tonight that your church has come to a place of rest. We have dug our Rehoboth. You have made a room for us. Thank you Lord Jesus for uncommon harvest. I'm about to hand over the mic to the bishop. If you have a seed just, just give into the presence of the Lord right now. Say, Lord, I'm building you an altar. If you want to participate in the building project that is coming, I don't know how it's done here. If, if you want to give a seed towards the building, Amen. You will get an envelope somewhere. As I'm talking, let's do it. I want to pray. If, let's do it. I don't know how we do it. But, but throw your offering. Amen. Say, Lord, I'm building you an altar. I'm building you an altar. I'm building you an altar. Building you an altar. Building... Come on, church. Let's do it. Let's be quick. God bless you as you do that. God bless you as you do that. You as you do that. Just, Just say, Father, thank you, thank, you thank you for giving me a room. Thank you for giving me a room. Thank you for giving me a room. God bless those that are coming. God bless those that are coming. God bless those that are coming. We command increase. We command favor. In the name of Jesus. That battle is over. Speaking tongues as you are doing that. Thank you Jesus. Give me F sharp. F -sharp. Oh Oh, 
Siabo Wahamba Nazi Oh Wahamba Nazi Siabo Jesu Kwenya ma Yesu Siabonga Jesu Siabo Siabonga Jesu Kwenya ma Where's the drama Siabonga Jesu Siabonga Siabonga Jesu Jesu Kwenya ma Wahamba Nati, Wahamba Nati, Oh, Wahamba Nati, Oh, Wahamba Nati, Siabonga, Wahamba Nati, Wahamba Nati, Oh, Wahamba Nati, Oh, Wahamba Nati, Siabonga, Wahamba Nati, Wahamba Nati, Oh. Let's mix.